shit. What was your after work drink? Oh, every day I go to Starbucks and they give me a big ass thing of water. Oh, that's and smart. I, I got one up. yesterday. Yeah. yeah, that's the best thing Starbucks has, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, the Trento water. Trento water. I have one after work and I have one at lunch. I try to stay hydrated. Man, motherfucker, it was like 120 degrees today in the valley. It, it was, was hotter a, than Hades. It was legit 108 here. And uh, luckily I'm inside. Yesterday we were outside at some brew thing. Oh, that's sweet. How'd you get that on for the podcast today? Man, I just showered. I'm not. I'm pissed. Walmart sh- screwed and tattooed me. I, uh, they you want to share? I got these stupid new glasses because uh, I bought two pairs of glasses. I I always buy the cheapest pair from Walmart just because the last pair I had, super cheap. I had it for like seven years, whatever. Now I got to buy, buy expensive frames. So then I go to Walmart to get new frames because my other one's broke finally. I get two pairs. The, the lady that's doing my exam or what not exam it wasn't an exam it was just here's my prescription give me glasses that will work and i so i order the glasses i get them i put them on it's like it's i'm woozy like the lady they do this thing where they put this thing on your eyes and you see a green dot and it measures how the distance your eyes should be the glass should be away from your eye or the thickness or something and then she draws a little dot on your the glasses like i'm wearing these she just put a little dot like where my pupils are or some shit. She did it wrong. She's never done it in her life, I'm sure. Or if she has, she's done it wrong every time. And then I get the glasses. I put them on. I'm like, I feel like I I rode the Simpsons uh, Universal ride. Fuck, I'm, I know how that feels. I'm, I'm like, oh, this sucks. These ones, the other ones were bigger. These ones are a little smaller, and I kind of got used to them. And I'm like, hey, here's the bigger ones. I either need to bring these back or you need to fix them. And the lady, this was an, a regist- it said on her little yellow name tag, registered optician or whatever the fuck she was. And she put the, the thing with the green dot on my eyes. And she's like, oh. And she went to the back and checked shit. And she's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting a different reading. So we'll, we'll give you new glasses. And I'm like, yeah. And then every time I take these off, I feel like I'm cross-eyed or something. Like, I feel like these are fucking up my vision. But I can't, it's like. I could wear contacts, but I've been working 15-hour days the past two days, so I'm not going to wear contacts over 12 hours. So it was just a, it was a motherfuck. And then, to top it off, they say my glasses are done today. I'm like, it's 8.45. They sent me in the fucking text. It says 9 p.m. You're, we're open till 9 p.m. You can pick up your glasses. I get there, the motherfucker has a yellow, like a better barrier than those fucking Caltrans guys put up. Like on the glasses place. Dude, like, that's that should be your thing, man. You shouldn't be going to Walmart to get glasses. You should go to Costco. I didn't even think of that until I went in Costco the other day. I was like, God damn it, why didn't I come here? But I don't think they have seventeen dollar frames at Costco even. I don't know. Maybe they do, but Yeah, but the seventeen dollar frames, but you didn't have a good customer experience. You know, you didn't have a legendary experience. See, the last time I went, it was seven fun. years you had seven years of good luck. Yeah, I really got fucked now. I also the Walmart I'm going to, it's the it's pretty hood. There's always a black dude in there trying to give you CDs of his rap, and it's like who the fuck listens to CDs anymore besides the Songbird and his Lexus from 2006 or whatever. Yeah, that's a 2014. I don't think that 14? one has CDs in it. Oh yeah, you, you traded, you upgraded, didn't you? Yeah, the new Lexus. I'm not exactly sure. For everybody that wants to know, well, I have to do that when I drive to work tomorrow. I have to see if I can play CDs in my new Lexus from 2014. Not. You don't put CD players in cars anymore. It's like I get it. How are you gonna get this? Give people thumb drive like fucking USBs. You're gonna be better off. Nobody has a fucking disc drive anymore unless you have an older car. This so fucking guy. The I CD you- game is not working. I tried to give that motherfucker two bucks just to, like, leave me alone. He said, yeah, I'll take donations for a CD. And I was like, okay, like, here's here's a couple bucks. And he's like, I usually don't give that one for less than 10. And I'm like, just take it back then. Like I And I was working a New Balance job with all these NBA players. 
not that they have CD players, but I was like, I'm working a New Balance job right now. I even threw that out there, and you just thought I was bullshitting. So I'm like, all right, I don't need your CD. Here, keep. And I threw the two dollars that I gave it to him. It's like keep them. Dude, that's very Christian like of of you, Apostle. To to yeah, an Apostle gives away to the youth that need it. They need guidance, and uh, they're they're all sinners, and the blood. The Dude, that was two dollars. He could have bought like a Diet Coke or a Snapple, possibly like a Snickers, king size Snickers. I mean, that wasn't just like something to sniff at. That was two dollars. Yeah, he could get a somebody that doesn't that, that didn't have two dollars. He was softly wasn't really being very like um, genuine and and thankful. That He's he, like he didn't get a fucking power bomb into the grocery aisle of Walmart. Yeah. I could only imagine if you powerbomb somebody, the freaking poor guys that would have to fill out such paperwork. I could just imagine the paperwork you'd have to fill out if you powerbomb. If somebody got powerbombed in the middle of the freaking store, that probably wouldn't go over well. That's a shit ton of paperwork. Yeah. And probably, in my case, I wouldn't know how to fill the paperwork out because, like, I wouldn't know where to find the shit if somebody got powerbombed in the, like, because, you know, they have so many files and forms like, Where's the form if somebody gets power bombed in the middle of the store? I don't know where that one's at. <laughs> you have to be like uh, a fight occurred or like. I might have to like email that. I'd probably have to send 10 emails to get the right form to fill out if somebody got power bombed in the middle of the store. <laughs> so, so you had a, so you had a rough day and now you're working, you said, at a New Balance job? At the New Balance shop? No, that was that was back when the guy first gave me the CD, and then I was in a week ago, uh, probably the same Walmart, and he was doing it to other. He gave it to like some Korean guys that couldn't speak English, and he's like, "I think you just walked away, and he didn't make them pay." And they're like, they're confused, and they just put it in their cart. They didn't know what to do. They thought it was a rice cake. He's fucking. The guy's hustling, but he's like doing it all wrong. Like in Walmart, you're gonna like I don't know what you're trying to do, man. Hey, you're so not gonna have... find, I hate to say it, but you're not going to find a fucking, like, Rick Ross ain't coming into shitty Las Vegas Walmart and he's going to discover you. Or who are the fucks a rapper that's popular now? I don't even, or a producer. P. Diddy, he has people that go to Walmart for him, and they probably don't even go to Walmart. They probably There's probably, like, a fancy Walmart we don't know about. I don't you know what's called. for the fancy one, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So have you had success at this Walmart on figure on fig hunts? That's the thing. I go there because it's the closest one to me now. But I found that was the day I found one of three thousand AW two of the same figure. One of three thousand. I sold one for like a hundred bucks. So just for that reason and that reason only, you always gotta give that one like it's some respect on, on that. You know, like, They've had good deals. They had the Ultimate Warrior thing for five bucks the other day. The uh, Undertaker and Ultimate Warrior Superstar figure. So for five bucks. Yeah, there's clearancing. Um, and they finally went down to like five, and I got a couple. You got a couple? Maybe I'll take a couple if you have a, like an extra yeah, one of each. I think I promised one to my friend, but I got a I got like three of them plus the one I have on card, and I opened one or something. So. So you have like five of each. No, nah, just just the Ultimate Wear and Undertaker were on sale in, in the past few weeks, so I got well, an extra if you, each. If you if you discover those, grab grab me some on that. Yeah, or if I, like, I'm, I got an inventory. It's gonna be like the time I realized I had like three fucking Joker, Bat Penguins, Batmans, Batmobiles. I'm like fuck, I got four Bat Batmobiles. What's going on? Well, that, that that was good for me because I think maybe I had asked you to get one and you have one and then you forgot you had it. And then my dipshit nephews, they had, both had to have one Batman Batmobile. They couldn't share, but then you just happened to have an extra one, so that worked out. So how many how many Batmobiles do you have now for personal? I think I just have the one. I think I was. I think you know what it was. I was. I had this idea in my head like. You felt sorry for me that I gave my two to the, my nephews and I didn't have one, so now you don't have any, so I can have one. I knew you, you had one, and then the deal was so it was so cheap that I got, I had like I got one for my maybe my brother and Phil, and then I got, I had one for me, and then I had an extra, and I was like, you know what, I'll open one and I'll keep one on the box, but the boxes are all fucked up on all those, no matter which one you got. 
there was not a good box. So I was like, oh, I got an extra. Like, I'm, I'm just going to open mine anyway and, like, give the other one to Chris or, or sell it to him or whatever. Like, I don't need a bo- unbox one. I got too much shit anyway. I think I got to slow this toy shit down. Really? I mean, I, I can't be buying, like, fucking just regular elite, like. $100 worth at a time? Yeah, or like even the the superstars, I'm kind of still in on because it's like the legend. You almost have all. Well, not me, but you and Patrick probably have almost the whole the whole lot, right? At this point, I have all. He has the whole new set. It like he found Mr. In Lompoc, he found Mr. T, The Rock, Macho Man, and Tug and uh, Typhoon. I I only got Typhoon. I got two Typhoons because I got him one, but apparently he doesn't need it now. So he's having success, success at, at Lompoc Walmart. I mean, you, you just got it's all timing. Like you just the, those motherfuckers are supposed to put shit out Monday and Friday. So do you think he goes when he gets off from work? Like when he gets home? No, he, he's not taking he's not taking the bus, right? He don't take the bus. So I think he does still. Um, he was off on like it was just a few days ago. It was like what's today? Wednesday? It was probably Monday or. Or no, it was probably like Saturday, Friday, Saturday last week. And he went in the afternoon and he found all of them. Hey, when is, do you know what day he's off? I almost called him. I might need to borrow the truck. I am I want to buy another recliner, but I don't have any way to get it up here. I think, uh, I think he's still off, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. For oh, now. he might be off tomorrow. Maybe I'll text him when we're done and I'll see if he's off. Yeah, I'll text him because he, he's, he might be switching shifts though soon. If he hasn't already, shifts or days? I think he would have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or something like that. Either way, Friday would be good, or Thursday would be good. Yeah, hit him up. He'll he'll go with you probably and help or whatever. He's got nothing to do probably. I don't know. Thanks for thanks for volunteering him. I'm sure yeah. I'm sure when he hears this, he's this probably going to be like, "This son of a bitch, he volunteered me." I mean, yeah. unless he's taking my mom to the um to a doctor appointment or. He uh like has he has some like truck trouble or something that he's got to take in. Like I don't see how what he would he doesn't have like set plans every week. It's like me. Like I'm not, when I'm off. Like it's not like I'm unless I'm wrestling or doing whatever working. Then I'm just like at home. But I don't know. I'll shoot him. A, I'll shoot him a text. See what he's up to. Yeah, should. Anyway, uh, I just had to rant about Walmart. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. That doesn't sound like a legendary. You didn't have a legendary experience. You know, Walmart's really. I don't know if they were ever good because I only ever went to the Lompoc one for a long time, but they're really falling off. And you get their shit together, toy aisles or or shit. Remember those videos that you used to send when they were all like catting wampus and just shit thrown everywhere and out of place? All fucking toys from five years, like not five, but. Two years ago, legit, there's a whole rack of, like, like Elite 87. We're on Elite 107. So we're 20. 20 lines. 20 20. lines, Walmart. Get your shit together. That's not legendary. There's this one Walmart in town. I I don't know. I don't want this to. Hopefully, I know we'll we'll get, like, 20, like, between 7 and 20 views. I'm just. (laughs) I hope this one doesn't go viral because of this, but the coolest thing I've ever seen, the Walmart, the newest Walmart probably in town, you go to the toy aisle, there's a little guy working in the toy aisle. Fucking, uh. A little guy. Yeah. And it's like, I wonder if they put him there because he's little, or he was like, I I want to work there, or it's funny, or if I don't know, he's probably a nice guy. I don't want people to go to the Walmart. I'm not gonna say where it is to the 20 viewers, so then 20 people will go in and bug him. But yeah, I just see him like climbing the shelves to like put Legos away and shit. They don't even get him like a ladder. I think That's he had a, maybe he had a ladder, but it seemed in my You're mind not I saw to him climb the shelves. Like, You'll put those the fucking things. He can reach the middle shelf or something. How does he stop uh, the top shelf? That dude, anyway, if that dude's in charge of it, that one, it, the stock suck. It sucks most of the time, but at least shit's cleaned up. 
And that and that's holds important. Up. Appearance, ease and accessibility for the customer. Ease and accessibility. Where have I heard that before? If the songbird was in charge of Walmart, it'd be a lot better off, I'll tell you that much. No, because then the songbird would be lazy and just cashing a big check and delegating. He wouldn't give a fuck. True, that's delegating. probably Actually, it sounds more like instead of delegating, that would be dumping. <laughs> that would be dumping. <laughs> no. So, yeah, so not a good experience, Walmart. So, Walmart, get your get shit, your shit together. together. We're going to put that on the shirt. Get your shit together, Walmart. Yeah. I'm gonna put a picture I took of the fucking the mess of an aisle. We'll put it that up would on never the, happen at a real store. Got Mantar shirt coming out. Um, JP Mantar, and then that one too. Special, special new friend of the show, JP. Oh yeah, shout out. Yeah, we got a shout out JP, new subscriber. Special like, friend of the show, JP. What's good? What's good, JP? Thanks for your. Uh, Continued following. I, I think he's probably like number three fan behind Brian Carter, number one fan. And uh, and then JP probably, but. So he's number two? I don't know. There's probably, there's got to be somebody ahead of JP. I don't even think, he, he probably just subscribed because you, you told him to or he said. No, something. you know why he wanted to, to subscribe? Because of the fantasy football episode. He really enjoyed the fantasy football episode. That was our biggest, yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to have to put that in the title, and then we'll get more views. He thought that that I, I said some really intelligent things, and I backed it up with fact, not fiction. Mm, nice. So then, and not to be a spoiler, but I don't know. I can't say how many times he watched the episode, but then when he ended up drafting his team, he used some of the players that I had suggested. He was using the, strat the Songbird strategies. That's, pro that's the problem with being a public figure. Your the whole your your views are on display and then uh, people people try to mooch off of them. Just it's sad. You can't make your own decision. You have to listen. I mean, you're giving advice, but you it wasn't like you're saying JP steal all my picks in our because he's in your draft. Right? No, no, he's not. He's not. Oh, that's okay. why that's oh, okay. why I let him watch it. Oh, okay. That's why, but I wanted to ask you first. But that's why I let him watch it because we weren't going to be competing against each other. I didn't show I didn't show anybody that I was competing with the video. Oh, that's smart. I didn't want anybody. One of them watched it. Huh? Yeah, correct. I tracked it down because you said you you're with all those guys that just uh, scour the internet. Yeah, because they're retired and they don't have anything better to do, and I'm at a significant disadvantage. Just a disadvantage. Do we are we gonna get into it right now? Do you want to get into yeah, it? Yeah, get what into it. What happened? Uh, because before I, I got to the draft, I, I know I gave you I gave you a call for a pep talk, and when I got there, I was feeling pretty confident, and uh, I get there, and, and I and I and I kind of I kind of like kind of turned baby face, because on a lot of those deals, I I showed up in a drunken stupor and I left in even a worse stupor, so that day I went and played golf with my good friend Fr. I'm sure yeah. you can figure out FR. Good old FR. And I had a good shout out to shout out to FR out there, and uh, I had a pretty good afternoon out there at the at playing golf. I was in a good like I was in a good frame of mind. And um, then I called you for for my last like bits of wisdom, and we had talked the day before. You had done some good research for me about Trevor Lawrence, and I'm feeling pretty good. So I get to the I get to the draft. And like I was saying earlier, like it's always been a drunken stupor, but in this instance, like because I don't see these people anymore, so I played, I played the, I, I, I played the, I played the trick on them. I showed up because there was a big ass cooler full of beer and drinks, and I brought my own diet cokes. And I was like, hey, I brought my my drinks. Is there any way that that you could put them just in the fridge and not put them in the cooler so I'll, only I can drink these drinks? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you bring? I was like, oh, just some diet cokes. So then they're like, what? I was like, yeah, I don't do much drinking anymore. <laughs> so I showed up with like six diet, diet caffeine free Cokes. Remember like I had, I had like six left. So I, I took them and I stashed them in the fridge at the draft party. Yeah. So then uh, everybody's out there and they're like drinking, having a good time. 
I was like, hey, do you want a beer? I was like, no, no, I don't, I don't want one today. I don't really drink anymore. I didn't want to give him the other line, the other line that I had been rehearsing in my head when the, when that came up, when that subject came up. I was like, you know, I'm a Christian now and I don't really drink. But I didn't do that. I didn't go that far. But I just like played played it cool, you know. I was like, no, nah, I'll just pass. I don't I don't need to, I don't need to drink. So then like I kind of felt like people were like kind of watching that. I wasn't drinking and I wasn't loud and obnoxious. I was just like whatever. I just took it in. Yeah. Which is like completely the opposite of yeah, anything that I've that. ever ever oh, done we know ever done so uh it gets to the point to choose the cards uh ace ace through queen and so they put it they divvy them all up they spread them all out on the table and they're like all right champ you get to pick first so i got the first pick of the cards oh wow and they're turned upside down so i didn't know what they were and like we had discussed in the previous episode, in the fantasy football episode, two episodes ago, episode five, episode five, we're like Star Wars now. I didn't want to t- pick in the one through four spot. Drum roll, please. Da-da, da-da, da-da. So I picked the card first. I flip it over. It's the fucking ace. It's the fucking ace. Good. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So everybody takes their shit. And they're, so, like, the the commissioner of the league was right, and they're like, all right, who got the bullet? I was like, yeah, it was me. And at first I was like, hey, does anybody want to trade? And they're like, no, no, no trades. Before, like, when they would do little trades, if anybody would want to trade. But since I got the fucking ace, they're like, no, 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 no trades. And I felt that was kind of like bullshit. Yeah. So, yeah, so right off the get, I'm feeling like, I'm already feeling like I'm at a disadvantage. Then, like, randomly, I get the worst possible pick you could get, even though some people say it's, like, the best pick. Yeah. So you get, like, you get the consensus overall number one best player. All right, fair enough. But then when it gets back to you 25 picks later, it's, like, slim-ass pickings. Yeah. But I have been practicing for it, so I kind of figured, I was like, all right, I'm going to get Jalen. Jalen should be there. Jalen should be there. So I do my first pick. First overall pick, Justin Jefferson, you know, standard overall number one pick, consensus overall pick. Yeah, not bad. So I'm thinking by Jalen should be there. And I have been researching the ADPs for anybody out there. The ADP is the average draft position. Jalen's was 27. So I was like, if I take him at, because I was going to have the 25th and 26th pick, I was like, I could take him either one there because I was going to have back-to-back picks. It's like, all right, I'm going to get him. So I was just waiting. I was like trying to figure out who I was going to, I was going to get him with one of the picks. And I was like figuring who I'm going to get with the, that next pick. Yeah, yeah. So then it gets to about pick 18. And this motherfucker picked Jalen. And I about just as cool as I could, I was just like shaking my head, just shaking my head, just shaking my head. And I was like, oh my God, now what? So I realized once I wasn't going to be getting Jalen, I was like, now we're going to go to plan B because we always – like a wise man once said, you always have to have plan B. So I knew a plan B was going to be Trevor Lawrence. So I was like, well, now, like, I'm, like, just, like, freaked out. Like, like that, like, really wrecked my chi that I wasn't going to get him. And usually I'm pretty, like, I'll do my picks, but yeah, yeah. then when it gets to me, I was like, well, now what the, like, I'm, like, just, like, pissed. At this point, I'm, like, pissed. I'm shaking my head. I'm, like, stalling because I didn't know what I was going to do, and I'm just, like, shaking my head. And then, like, everybody's kind of, like, getting upset. They're like, hey, aren't you going to – because, like, I'm kind of known for, like, doing my picks fast. And I was yeah, like yeah. – I'm like, well, I wasn't expecting that to happen at this spot. Yeah. And then I had to, like, throw some shit on the wall. And I got some decent guys. Yeah. But not not what you were expecting. No, no, with the no. the uh, getting wasted? Do you think that had anything to – Say that again. I'm sorry. Like uh, you're saying, you went in like as as a. It seemed like it was a strategy that you weren't drinking, and then did, do you think that helped the situation backfire and and threw off your chi? No, because once I knew, once I knew I had that first pick, I knew I was gonna really really have to concentrate and pay attention in order to get this this, uh, this draft right. And it's funny, I have my notes right here. From that draft so on standard list standard list right here but on the back i like to put little notes to myself 
and I have them right here. If you can see this. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh. What is that? Can you read that? Get the QB right. So I was like looking at my list, and the people were saying, "Hey, what does that back of your list say?" So I was like, "Oh, it says get the QB right." <laughs> like everybody thought that was funny. Yeah, yeah. So. Hey, I think the like QB we had right. talked about me and you on the episode five, and then when we had talked uh, Saturday before the draft. I got Trevor Lawrence. I picked him before Herbert, and I picked him before Burrow because I think Trevor Lawrence, I think he's going to be – and when I, when I picked him at the draft, I said this. I said, I'm getting this year's Jalen Hurts. I might not have had the real Jalen Hurts, but I'm going to yeah. get this year's Jalen Hurts. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to really show his ass, and I think he's going to – for the – so I, I, I feel like I did end up overdrafting him, but I had my hand forced. Because I had to take him in the sixth round. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm yelling. I had to take him in the sixth right. round because if I was going to go 25 picks, and I wasn't sure if it, if he would be back on the when it got back to me 25 picks later. So I think I I I, I feel it was one round early, but I didn't want to risk it. If my motto was get the quarterback right, and the one that I wanted was gone, Thank but you. the second the second one that I wanted. All right, fair enough. Yep. So by doing that, I lost out on Darren Waller. I missed Darren Waller by – I would have taken Darren Waller if I knew I could have got Lawrence coming back, but that's 25 guys that I was going to have to go through. So I ended up – I missed Darren Waller by three picks, which really was frustrating. And I missed Jalen. The same guy that got freaking Jalen got uh, Darren Waller. It's almost like he knew my moves. This fucker. He, he probably found the podcast. Yeah, he's one of the retired guys. I would have put it past him. Yeah. He's the guy that steals my moves. We, we're but, on to you, son of a bitch. No good, rotten motherfucker. But, you know, so afterwards, they input on the ESPN, the fantasy app, they input the, the teams, and ESPN, they must have like a simulator or something, and it does like projections, like mm-hmm. where the, the, the projections for the playoffs. So the, the team that I drafted at the disadvantage of being a top four pick, I had, according to the ESPN projections, they thought I was going to have the fifth best team at the draft. See, so the draft is just like one third of the thing. You know, there's still free agency and then there's other trades that you can make. So like right now, according to ESPN, they think I have the fifth, fifth best team. That's not seeing that Trevor Lawrence doesn't play through his um, ADP, through his where he was drafted, you know, he might score a hundred more points than his projection. So I think I did. So I was the only one in the top four that had a top four pick that if you look at the ESPN playoff projector that ended up in a play that had a playoff spot, everybody else that had a top four pick was, was way down. So I did the best I could. It's a, you don't win the championship on draft day. But you could lose it on draft day. So I think I put myself in a good spot. Now I just got to play the waiver game and just see what's – just, you know, let the ball – let it let it roll and let's see what happens. You know, there's there's going to be some moves to be made. Not done. You know, I'm not going to get Jalen this year. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it sucks, but did you get your kicker? I did. I did. So, yeah. So that got to be kind of funny too. So normally how I had been doing it, I would have took him in the 10th round. Yeah. There's 16 rounds. And even the 10th round was high. Yeah. So, mind you, I took him in the 8th round because I was going to, that was like, I was going to have to go, it was going to go all the way to the 8th and then back through the 9th. So it's going to be 25 picks. I'm thinking, fuck, somebody's going to steal him too. So it's like, I might as Because, like, in the 8th round, from the 8th round up, it's kind of like, you know, rolling the dice. And then and I still I personally value the kicker as like a starting guy. I mean, yeah, I don't think he's like he doesn't score as many points as the quarterback, but if you have the kicker that's competent, that that does yeah, score and yeah. doesn't go minus, that's a good that's a good thing to have, like to supplement your points. Yeah, for sure. So it's, of course, and now these guys kind of figured out that I always get him. And I can't figure out why nobody why nobody would just like I guess they don't know that that that's like my real chip. Somebody would have took him. That would have really fucked with me. But 
Thankfully, that didn't happen. And yeah, I kind of overdrafted him, but I got him, Justin Tucker. And if you look on 2014 when I won the championship in 2014, my kicker was Justin Tucker. In 2016 when I won, Justin Tucker was the kicker. And then last year, I had Justin Tucker. So it's a championship pedigree. I've had him all the way back since 2014. So that's that's the guy. He's a freaking NWO. It's Justin Tucker. He probably has an NWO shirt under his Baltimore Ravens jersey. Hey. Probably. But I did get him. Nice, nice. I like having him on the team. Yeah, yeah. He'll possibly be texting me right now. Uh-oh. Anything important? Is it a Jesus or... Oh. No, no, no. Sorry. I know I'm not supposed to, to be on my phone. And the other thing when I was... I, I like to rewatch our episodes, and now I can watch them on my big TV. Oh, yeah. So I have to apologize to you because I feel like I step on your dick and I interrupt you a lot. So I'm trying to do a better job of not interrupting. I'm trying to be a better a better no, co-host. I don't I think it's just uh, I I have this thing where I I notice I do it and I try to interrupt people. And then I'm like, wait a minute. No, no, no like I'll just like you go, you go. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. Or like I, I picked the wrong time. I have a bad, uh, occasionally, or some of these episodes, I, I've, I've been out like high or drunk or something, I think, and I'm just kind of like, okay, <laughs> so I don't know. There's, I just think like, I'm like, I just want to talk. So I'm yeah, no, when you get, it's kind of rude. Like, you kind of have to, you just like, it's like, I don't know, you weren't interrupting me when I was talking shit about Walmart, so you got to. Well, I'm trying to make a conservative effort of letting you get your shit in before I interrupt. Yeah. Nah, it's, I mean, if it's, if it's like your subject, especially, I'm like, uh, yeah, just keep going. Like, interrupt if you have to, because I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about with football. So, especially that, or, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's what the, that's what the viewers want. Night of the Living Dead, and, uh, um, that- that's the official Return of the Living Dead shirt. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Return of the, yeah, that's a good. Shout out to Linnea Quigley. You don't know how much fantasies I've had of L- Linnea Quigley. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody one. that's seen Return of the Living Dead knows what we're talking about, I'm, I'm sure. If you haven't seen Return of the Living Dead, highly recommend it. Yeah, it's awesome. Did I ever tell you the story about what my dad did when I was about three years old? This probably explains why I'm so fucked up. So I remember one of my very, very earliest memories. I think it's all right to share this. It's not bad. Well, it kind of is, but whatever. God rest your soul. Yeah. It was a Saturday, and I guess my dad, he wanted to go to the movies. And you know where we live? We live by the Geminis. And at that point, there was only the one movie theater in town. Yeah. And I remember... He's like, yeah, we're going to go to the movies. And my ass thought, man, maybe we go see fucking Bambi or Snow White or something good. Man, we went and saw fucking Poltergeist. I'm like three <laughs> fucking years old. And, and on top of everything else, we fucking walked to the movie theater. I'm three years old thinking, man, we're going to go see Snow White or Bambi. We go and see fucking Poltergeist. What the fuck is my dad thinking? He takes his three-year-old son. We're going to have to look up what year that came out, Poltergeist. Because I'm like pretty sure I was like... I couldn't have been that old. I mean, he takes us to see. He took me to go see Poltergeist. It was, was a, like it was like what? early '80s. Right? I'm like, I'll look it up right now, but keep going. So then you know the part where the chick fucking puts her hand on the TV and the Poltergeist, and I'm like, I'm like a little ass fucking kid just shit. It was '82. Oh fuck! <laughs> two years old. I was two years old, and my dad <laughs> takes me to see fucking Poltergeist, walking, not mind you. And then we have to walk home. I think he had to carry me because I think I had pissed my pants. I was just like fucking freaked out. (laughs) Fucking freaked out. True story. Jeez. That's pretty rough. And then. I I can't. He was kind of revolutionary because like we had a VCR. And we were like one of the first people I think that had a VCR. Oh, yeah. So he was like able to like record, and then he recorded Night of the Living Dead, the black and white one. It was like real little. This, I mean, it was a little older than. It was a little bit after this poltergeist incident had happened. And then, like, I figured out how to use the VCR, and then they caught me watching Night of the Living Dead. Uh, I was, like, five or six watching Night of the Living Dead. Uh, 
they're coming to get you, Barb. You know, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I feel like Night of the Living Dead isn't too. Yo, yeah. as a little kid, though, That's that'll cool. fucking yeah. spook you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think my brother's letting his kids watch Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, I couldn't. I shouldn't say. You never know. Yeah, no. They, they have a bat. They have two Batmobiles, right? He did let it. He did let the younger boy watch Ted the other day. Oh, really? The first Ted, yeah. Probably yeah. doesn't get any of the jokes though, so that's kind of different. It's not like it's terrifying or like there's are there tits in Ted? I forget. I don't. I'd yeah. have to re. I'd have to rewatch. Yeah. That's one of my favorites though, Ted. But yeah. then, that one more thing that my dad did do, I do give him credit for this. So then in 1990, when the Night of the Living Dead remake came out, he did take me and my brother and Asus to see Night of the Living Dead at the drive-in. Oh, but we no. were 10 at that time. Not yeah. that that's okay, but, you know, we did go to the drive-in and see Night of the Living Dead in 1990. That's just, who does that? It takes their yeah, yeah. to see fucking poltergeist. Night of the Living Dead. And you wonder why I'm the way I am. Yeah, man. Yeah. That was that was my segment of get, that's me getting my shit in. I, I got yeah, it yeah. early. Oh, it's good. Yeah, like we, I don't recall going to the theater for any crazy movies, but my dad would just watch whatever. He'd be like, "Hey, here, watch. You guys should watch Full Metal Jacket. That's like what war is like." We're like, "Whoa, fuck!" I think I was. I had to be under ten when I watched that, or like, I don't know. We'd watch crazy shit. So we had Showtime. And it's just like watch whatever or and Cinemax. Free porn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like there's like uh what I was I had to be like five or six or I don't know, I wasn't that old. And uh my dad I was on I was sleeping on the couch or something or on the couch watching the TV. My dad turned on like meatballs. Remember meatballs? <laughs> there's like it's just like nothing but tits and like Bill Murray or something. And uh, he, my mom was like, like kind of like Christian y and she's like, she's like, he, boy, little boy shouldn't be watching this. And my dad's like, just some parts they shouldn't be, <laughs> but he just kept watching it anyway. Like I don't think he changed it. It's like fuck, <laughs> he didn't give a shit. Yeah, hey, I got a, I got another one. I no. think it's all right to share this as long as I don't use the names and where it happened at, but. If yeah. anybody hears this, they could probably figure it out. Whatever. Who the fuck? What are they gonna do? This is this one's the classic. So to this day, in the role that I'm in, I still don't know how this happened. But uh, one of the previous stores that I worked at, we somehow finagled it where we had Dish Network in the break room. Uh. Which I can't figure out how in the hell. To so this day, I still don't believe that that happened. And everybody that I tell that to doesn't believe me. Yeah, yeah, that seems weird. But there's me. no bullshit. There's no doubt that we watched the Olympics in 2012 up in the break room. And later on, when I would work nights, we'd watch the late show. Or we'd take break and watch freaking um, Fall Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. So the funny part was, the funny, the funny, the funnier, the funniest story is, so one morning I show up to work about four o'clock and like nobody's there, like nobody's working. Like usually I would go check in, hey, I'm here, blah, 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 what's going on? This was kind of a, a weird morning. Nobody's yeah. there and I'm like, well, where the fuck are these fuckers? You know, what the fuck's going on? So I was like, ah, fuck it. So I just started going to work, yeah, yeah. working and I'm like wondering, like in my back of my brain, I'm like, where are these guys? So then, you know, maybe an hour goes by. It seemed like an hour. It might have been 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I hear I hear like a moaning noise on, on the intercom. Boom. Like, 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 you know, fuck noises. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just working. And I was like, I couldn't, you know. So finally, you know, these fucking guys show up. My coworkers show up and the janitors show up. And I was like, hey, where the fuck have you guys been for the last, you know, 40 minutes, 45 minutes? I'm like, oh yeah, it was free HBO and we were upstairs watching porn. So it's all the fucking crew and the janitor were upstairs watching fucking porn. And I was like, you guys are fucking watching porn. Yeah. yeah. The fuck? 
What? And why was there moaning on the intercom? And they just so they put the the intercom the phone from the intercom next to the TV on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> and then did Dish Network go away after that? Or it did, but it didn't go away because of that. It oh. went away because the store closed. So ah, okay, that makes the store sense. that started with an H. Okay. Uh, that's funny. Goddamn, pal. Jeez. That's a true story, and yeah. nobody, nobody, no, I never told, I haven't told a lot of people about that part of the story, but nobody believes that we actually had freaking Dish Network up in the break room. It seems strange, like who's paying for it? Like it's a really good question. Or like Bob <laughs> wanted to be able to watch TV at work, so he he paid for it, or I I don't know Here. how they did it. It's like a wise guy once told me. Sometimes you just don't ask questions. Yeah, true. <laughs> Smart. We used to watch. We used to watch football on Sundays. We used to watch. We we watched the Olympics. It was just like whatever. We're just gonna go watch TV. That's cool. Yeah. What a. So that was that. I, That's, what a lie. Fuck. Um. Look at me now. Now I gotta enforce the shit. No Dish Network at your store. No. I, I got to imagine somebody had to pay for that shit. Who the fuck was paying for it? Maybe that's why the store closed. They stole Dish Probably Network one of the, five some, years. Set the budget over with Dish Network. Sons of bitches. Um, yeah. Um, any, any other topics you got... Do you want to talk about before uh, I can't stay on that long? I got to get up at like 5 a.m. I think. So yeah, we just kind of threw together an impromptu show today because, yeah. like you said, special special other guest, special friend of the show is going to be out visiting you tomorrow. I hear Uncle yeah, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, neighbor Phil. He's he's uh, he's coming for like a week. We're just and I'm off after tomorrow. I work tomorrow, but I'm off after that, and then we can fucking just do whatever. We'll figure on <laughs> Friday. So do you have any do you have any like definite plans when someone like Phil shows up? Not really. Um oh, here's a tip here's a fucking hot tip that Phil threw out. It's like the 30th anniversary or some or 25th or 35th, I don't know, of they live. Um there's some or there's some shit I, it's coming back out in theaters September 3rd through 5th in in certain select theaters. Um, you have probably to not up, in Lompoc, right? Probably not Lompoc, but you'll have to look up. Like, There's a chance that Regal and Santa Maria might play it, or I don't know, because I think some Regals here are playing it, but there's, there's something about it, but you can see they live on the big screen, so I think we're going to try and go see that. You those. guys will have a good, better chance of seeing it out there than we'd have here. Huh? But maybe, oh, yeah. like you said, that Santa Maria Theater is big. Would, huh? That Santa Maria Theater is a big theater. They yeah, yeah. No, I would, I would look it up because uh, it's playing at a bunch of different theaters. Because it's, it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So those are slower days, and there's not a lot premiering right now. So it's like one of those holiday where... Holiday weekend. It's, it's a holiday weekend, too. So if nothing big is out, it's like... There's a Barbie movie. There's fucking Oppenheimer or whatever. And then, like, what else is out right now? So there's a good chance they'll just take one of the other, like, especially a, like, big chain like Regal or something. Or, uh, I don't know. There's there's certain, uh, I don't know. If you go, maybe if you go to, like, toward Santa Barbara would probably do it somewhere. I don't know. Bilton, they don't have a fucking movie theater anymore. Oh, they sh- they closed it. Yeah. It was supposed to be over there by McDonald's. I like that. The stadium seating. I like that Pilto movie theater. Yeah. I really I, did. I thought that was the best theater yeah. around. But yeah, I would check uh Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, maybe uh Royal Grande has a good theater, right? Yeah. Uh, slow. But I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, gonna do that. I don't know. Yeah, we don't have set plans. We're just, he's just like, yeah, let's do whatever. We're like, okay. Let's probably just go eat, go to the video game bar, go fucking figure hunting or whatever. 
toy hunting. There's a Pokemon fucking event or do a Pokemon event. Fucking yeah. Oh, like an like a the Pokemon like remember the one time didn't you guys go to like the like the world not the world but like a challenge or yeah a in Vegas they had a day they had like a weekend and it he was, had come for that didn't Phil come for that the one yeah, time I think that was in like February or February or whatever um it wasn't that long I think it was sometime this year maybe last year but uh there's like another it's not like a Vegas specific event but it's just like Oh, on this day, if you play, like, you get this or that. So, we might do that. Otherwise, yeah, we don't have any set plans. And then, fucking, I'm doing some job the day he leaves, so. Is he flying or driving? He's he's flying. He doesn't, I don't think he drives. Or if he does, he, uh, or he might be, I don't know. He he might be getting a license. I don't really know. I haven't heard. Hey, so, I do have one other one other one that we yeah I emailed you earlier and I think you you read the email right about that Eagles gig Eagles thing. If anybody's interested, four tickets for the Eagles versus the Cowboys. The Eagles versus the Cowboys, not the Cowboys versus the Taliban. Yeah. Four field passes that gets you on the game uh, on the game on the field before the game and pregame. And then uh, to get, and then the the kicker is you get to go meet the owner of the Eagles, Jeffrey Lurie. Lurie. So right now, the the bid is at one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, and the the value of that thing is two thousand okay. dollars. So I was thinking, shit, dude, field passes alone. If you imagine if we got on the field, brother, if we're on the field at the game, sweet, I would go over there and pee on the Cowboys sidelines. Fuck the Cowboys. I don't think we get to watch the game, but they're the fucking worst of the worst of the worst. The Dallas Cowboys. Fuck those guys. Hey, but did you happen to read the email? Did you look at the fine print? What it was saying in there? Nah, I didn't have time to. No, do. you cannot be under the influence of alcohol, and you can't wear any other. You can't wear the opposing teams on the Eagles sidelines. Oh. Still, so we're only wearing the Eagles. Yeah, we're only. Why would we wear anything else? We definitely ain't gonna wear that goddamn star. Yeah, fuck that. That's what I want. That's what I think my for 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 my merch. I want a picture of me as a cartoon yeah. being on the star. Oh, like Cal. That's Cowboy Cal- Star. Yeah, but it's a uh, it's Chris. But it's, but it's me peeing on the star with my Kelly Green with my Kelly Green shirt. Yeah, we gotta that that could be the real first shirt because. If it's uh, no, nah, I don't know. We probably couldn't use their logo. We'd have to make like a. Which it's just a star. Yeah, we could just do a blue star. I don't think we get in trouble for that. <laughs> it, that would that'd be a good idea though, because we could sell it. It would people would just buy it, you know. A like, cartoon. I mean, like a cartoon version of me peeing on a star. Like I don't know. Even if they didn't know who you were, they're like, we don't like the Cowboys, and then there'd be people that, like. We like I like the Eagles, but and I don't like the Cowboys, so could be great. Could it's be a just a, it's just a thought. That I think that's like you know, just getting jazzed up because like we're like literally two, eight. It's next Thursday's the first game. Yeah. Yeah, next Thursday, and then the Eagles play the Patriots on the Sunday. Damn. Fuck. Quick. Fuck the Patriots. Patriots are awful. I mean, they're not exactly the Cowboys, but I don't have nice things to say about them either. Who and does? I don't like I don't like the Bears. I think people in the Chicago, they're just really regal assholes. Um oh. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a, a we have a viewer question uh from uh uh, I don't remember the, it's like taco something, but yeah, they're like, they're asking, uh, Brian, he's asking why you, uh, why you have a background of, uh, a house in some of these, don't you just have a house? And I was like, I don't know. I think he just, he picked a background. Huh? Well, Brian, appreciate the question. Thanks. Thanks for the, thanks for the, the view. Thanks for watching the show. I understand you're a big fan. So shout out to Brian. And like my my colleague 
Apostle was saying, yeah, I just picked a background. So let me show you. I'll take the background off for everybody out there watching. Let me see if I can do this now. Uh, okay, so that's. So I just figured in this technological age, like when you click those little three dots, you can play. So this is basically the background. Yeah. So I, I could put like a, and the lighting's not exactly real good in this room where I'm at, so I'd have to move, but maybe I appreciate that, that you were like watching. So maybe if you have any suggestions, what you'd like to see as my background, put it in the comments and then we'll work on that for the next episode. And uh, I think we can put anything. Um, even, uh, did you know, like, uh, YouTube, you can put up stuff, you pretty much put up porn if it's educational. I was unaware of that. Or a documentary, or there's certain guidelines, but, like, I, I'd heard, I'd heard about this, because, like, my, I forget, I was looking up, like, a massage or something for my, for somebody or fiance or whatever, and then, like, one of the videos that came up, it was like this totally naked girl getting a massage, and like the guy, it was like showing her vagina, like he's he's like rubbing around it. And I was like, what the fuck? This is on YouTube. I thought YouTube was like you can't put this type of shit. But if it's educational purposes, then you can put what are like people are like shaving their balls, and like just like you can put. I don't know. I haven't delved like dove that deep into it, but. It, Whoa. So you could put, you could probably put like, um, I think my point was you could put some like pretty crazy in the back in your background, but just be like, oh, this is for educational purposes and like have a reason behind it being back there. Like you could you could put Kennedy getting shot or something, you know, like like we're talking about Kennedy on this episode or I don't know, just something weird, but. I mean that so there's a lot of possibilities. Brian will and JP can vote on it and see see what we decide. JP, Brian, if you're out there, whatever you'd like to see as the background, let us know. Yep. We're we're willing to we're gonna listen to the audience. Yeah, I'll try and make my background better too. I don't know. These are What do you mean? You got freaking Garfield being fat and lazy. You got the rock. He hates Monday. Stone Cold. The, the Warrior. The Warrior. Pretty cool. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Speak, speaking of wrestling, maybe the last, uh, we're at 52 minutes, maybe the last few, eight or less. Talk about all the fucking wrestler deaths. What the fuck happened? Well, I know that in the group message, man, there was kind of a lot. There's been kind of a lot, and there's been big ones this year. Yeah, it it would yeah. I last understand. week especially. Yeah, and then last week it was like, oh, Terry Funk's dead, and it was like, oh shit. Well, he was old, and you're kind of expecting it. And then the next, like a day hey, later, hey. and it's fucking Bray Wyatt, who's. Th I thought that fucker was like at least my age. He's fucking thirty six. Thirty six. Thirty six. Christ, he wasn't wearing his CPAP machine or something. That's I don't know. I had read. I I saw that too. He yes, was in the car. I, I don't fucking know if it's true, but he's just like heart problems after COVID, and he was uh, he's overweight a lot of his life, and is like, oh, you got heart problems, you got to wear this machine, and he just didn't do it, and like whatever, he fucking heart attack in your sleep or something. Hey, when 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 I first saw that, I thought it was a work. I was like, dude, they're really. really I was like, dude, they're like, fucking gonna go that route. I was just, nah, I was just kind of like, that's fucking crazy. What the fuck? Like, did he like, I was like, did he kill himself or something? Like, what the fuck happened? Like, why? He's so young. But I don't know. Man, like, he had a health problem, and it can happen when you're fucking young, I guess. So. Hey, they'll, they'll never do, they'll never swerve, they'll never swerve somebody with the death, huh? That's like, that's not, like. Not this day and age. Maybe back. In maybe in the attitude era maybe they would have huh even then like did that ha, thinking of death is more like uh a fucking uh like old time memphis thing or something like some fucking shithead carny like 
bullshit to me. Like, or like the closest thing I could imagine was like when Vince had the, the limo up, and it was like very obvious that the it was a planned limo explosion. Like, fucking idiots would think, oh, like he's really dead. But uh, Trump did. Apparently, Trump called up and thought Vince was dead or something. But that's what Is I that heard. True? Yeah, yeah, back before he was president, like, that happened, and then he called somebody, like, maybe, it was probably the type of thing where he wasn't watching and saw it, but, like, somebody said, oh, they blew up, Vince died in a limo, and then he heard, and he's like, what? And he, like, had to call Vince, and, like, die in a limo? Like, what the fuck's going on? But still, it was, like, stupid fucking wrestling angle, obviously, and... Hey, but, uh, you know what, you know what killed the angle? Because the next day fucking was with a Chris yeah, Benoit. <laughs> fucking, he killed more than the angle. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, Chris Benoit, he might still be in hell rotting, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't know, man. That, yeah, that guy. Not, no. And think about it. That was another thing brought up, like, Bray Wyatt's probably, like, the youngest dude to die since those fuckers. Eddie Guerrero and and Benoit. Since back. And the wellness policy, like, maybe it's done its job because, like, not a lot of young dudes dying besides. And it's crazy. Bray died. And then uh, Brody died a few years ago. He was only, like, 42. But like you said, those guys, I don't think it wasn't drugs. I think they just. It might have been, like, they said Brody wasn't COVID. They said Brody was, like, just, I don't know, he got some respiratory-type thing and, like, fucking start feeling bad and then coma and then dead. And it was, like, I don't know. It was, like, everybody was getting COVID and didn't know it was COVID. So, maybe it just made some problem people had and, like, made it worse. And So, uh, I, I think... You guys, if you hear this, vote in this thing. Do you think the wellness policy has worked? Like, like Dan said, like you're not seeing the young guys die like that anymore. Yeah, yeah. There's. I, I mean, mean, I think those guys was... sh- shit all over that wellness policy. Sorry, Dan, I, I interrupted you. I think they should they shit on that wellness policy, but I think for the most part, it's it's worked. There's no reason Jeff Hardy should probably still be alive, right? Yeah, with all his fucking DUIs and shit, like. I don't know. He's he's gotten away with a lot. Fucking Uso. Which oh, three Uso. DUIs. I don't know. There's a lot of people. That, but they, I mean, they they haven't died from what a drug. It's they aren't. Nobody's doing like the crazy drugs anymore, like Soma's and. As far as I can tell, or if they are, it's not as intense. Or they people have learned from those. The weed's more available. Maybe the weed helps. And then uh, everybody's a fucking nerd in wrestling now and just stays in their hotel room and plays video games instead of but I heard, going out and drinking and, and I whoring. I was watching or listening to the Pritchard show one day, and the thing that I think pre- Right after Ruthless Aggression, the thing that the guys used to like was the GHB. I think that was their, yeah. like, because I think initially it was like like a, it was a diuretic, I think. And then the guys figured out how to fucking, how to make it into like a hardcore drug. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, they us- do like uh, Jericho or somebody talked about in their book. Like, I think he said Benoit would do this, sh- like spike your, your water. Or they'd mix it with water and, like... Because it was tasteless, um, right? Yeah, something like that. And, like, you're only supposed to take a little bit. And, like, if you took a lot, like, I don't know. It was pretty much like a roofie. But it was also... It was like a bodybuilding drug. Like, it would do something with your... It cut your body fat. Because, like, the way Pritchard said it, like, those guys could go eat, like, shit. They could go eat, like, 20 cheeseburgers and then they could take that and it would, like... It's fed your metabolism. It, did, it had something to do with, like, like, yeah, what you said, like bodybuilders. There was yeah. some, there was some good at it in moderation, but like those guys. It, it was like speed. It just made you sweat and like just fucking jittery, like always 
burning calories. So then these guys had to get the GHB and the place where they were getting it was like in cleaning supplies, I thought. I don't know how you would like get it out of there, but it got to be hardcore, didn't it? Like the the dose, like it got to be like a poison, I think, if you didn't get it out of the chemical, in the cleaning chemical, right? Yeah, probably. It, it was a mess. There's shit like that, and then they're, they're all the fucking Mark doctors that just give you whatever whatever you want. I'm like, I don't know. I wish I could find a Mark doctor that could give us some freaking whatever we wanted. Some, um, remember, did you ever see the movie Half-Baked? Yeah. The medicinal marijuana? Can we get some medicinal yeah, marijuana? Yeah. Yeah, if you if one of the twenty people watching this is a Mark Doctor, it can get us the the high grade stuff. Then uh, where we could use our medical insurance that we have, yeah. where we don't have to go buy it at a secondhand shop. <laughs> Not to say that we would ever do something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, we wouldn't. Dude, I got some uh, edibles the other day that were fucking. It said they were generic brand. They were like. They're starting to come out. I don't even understand. It's it's just like a different brand. And on the website, it was like, oh, these are like the generic version of this or that. And they're super cheap. It was like, it was like two for two, 200 milligram packs for like 20 bucks. And I was like, okay. And I tried them and they're fucking, they work good or better, as good or better than any of the other shit. So I'm In like, the wild? Yeah. A generic? A generic? Yeah. It says it's generic. I don't. I whatever the fuck that means, or or it's just like a. And maybe they're just like diluting the strains and just like I don't know. I don't. I don't know how that shit works. But did you get it from a reputable place? Yeah, just like the weed shop down the street. <laughs> That's reputable. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, much you didn't get it from some jack off on the corner of freaking Koval like and fucker that I bought a. I'm on on offer up. I bought a hat f- for my friend. And he's like, "Hey, you, uh, you do, you do weed." And he gave me this the weedish fish that are just like they're just like weird gummies that don't do shit. And he's like, "I can get you uh, snow too or something." I was like, "Okay, man." Hey, it's the like, weedish fish were those were those were those like fifty milligrams a piece? It's sad they were, but they didn't do sh- like I took like six of them because nothing was happening. It's like, oh, oh yeah. Sometimes those work really good. Those are the ones that fucking Jersey got. Yeah, I think I think most of those are either just like they say they are and they're not, or they 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 try to trick you and say they're weed and then it's like CBD only, and you don't you just kind of like get a little but tired maybe. I will say Jersey, he did get the good ones the one time and oh, yeah. he mailed them out here and I took one. Fuck, dude. That was like two days ago. Oh, that shit? Huh? Out to mail? He just mailed it. He just mailed the package. Do that, but whatever. Dude, what does that say for me that I was stupid enough? He mailed me a fucking package like that, and then my dumbass took it. I mean, also, I've I've heard, uh, I was traveling last year with people, like work people, and they were saying, uh, like, they had weed when we got to New York, and I was like, how'd you guys... Did you guys go to a shop and they're like, oh, we just put in our luggage. Like, they're not looking for a little, like, some joints here and there. They're looking for, like, pounds of shit. And I'm like, okay, cool. Serious? Yeah, they're just flying with the shit. I'm like, okay. Because they have the drug boxes everywhere, but it's like, I don't know. Here, I got to, let me see what this call is. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? Okay, finally. Okay, cool. I'm just finishing my podcast with Chris, and then I gotta go to bed. So I gotta work at six. Yeah, now you're on it, so you're gonna be famous now to JP and Brian. And. Yep. You're gonna have to become a goth or something. Yeah. You fucked up. You should have just responded to my text. Anyway, you can do voice to text. You know how to do that. All right, well, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm, 
All right, we can, we'll get off before then. All right, bye. All right, she's gonna show her tits if she shows up before we're done. So, it turns Whoa. Out could be for educational purposes only, though. So then we it can we can get I we'll get so many views if you show tits on here. If you but put if fantasy you just, football episode with tits. Yeah, fantasy football and tits. That's like work. Could go viral. Fifty. Man. But uh yeah, I don't know. Anything else for uh You are you planning to come down anytime soon? I'm gonna have to because this oh here's another fucking figure related. I was in uh I there's this uh I got an ultimate dragon figure. I it I just got shipping notification on it, but then I looked to where it's going and it said fucking long poke. I was like, God damn it! I, why would I send that? Like, I usually send the ringside packages when I buy you and me something to long poke because then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna give it to Chris anyway. But this, I don't know why the fuck I would send it to long poke. It must have just been saved automatically from some other shipment. I don't know, but. Oh, yeah, and then next week, I want to talk about Gooker. I'm calling it Gooker Gate. Give you a the fucking you know, Gooker Gate. It's bullshit. Um, I already complained. I haven't heard a response yet. From I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm awaiting Mattel's response before I fully reveal Gooker Gate, but uh, this could blow the roof off the figure industry if I... Uh, That's big time. I guess so. But yeah, so um, I don't know. Yeah, hopefully, uh, maybe in the next few weeks I'll come in between jobs because I start up the slap job in October. I'll be stuck there for the whole month, probably stuck here. It's official. Patrick is off tomorrow. Yeah. I texted him while you were on the phone with El Zadi. Fuck yeah. Going? Did you throw the recliner at him yet? Just did. Right. Just did. Should we? Should we wait for, for his response? Maybe he, this could be a big. Uh, he is off. Uh, hey everybody, Patrick is off on Thursday, August thirty first. Where, where would you have to get the recliner? It's over there by Wendy's Pacific Coast Furnishing, on oh, okay. Just by the gym right with, Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought you were going out of town. No, 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 no. Road okay. trip. Not texting back. Man, I got some fucking bites on me from, uh, I don't know what, we got jumping spiders. We got some in the garage. I don't know what it, I don't think it's bed bugs. I keep getting bit, though. I'm getting fucking pissed. So, give me a little sample of what you talked to Mattel about, about the Gooker. Just about the, the hands? You said the hands were fucked oh, up. Yeah. I, let's just fucking do it now. I, I haven't heard a response. It's been fucking week. Or four days. So I did open mine out of the original box. Hey, you said that there was, was there supposed to be a purple background? I got two backgrounds, but they were both bricks. No, turn it over and there's a Survivor Series. No, on the care. other side, mine is blank. I don't know what you're talking about. What lights? I didn't turn that off. Yes, you did, because I didn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. You're I didn't go out there, so who the fuck turned it? You didn't turn it on. That's the problem. Look. Yeah, I got that one. And then you just turn it over. I don't. Mine's not like that. Really? There were two of them in mine, too. I have two of those. Hang on. Hi, Paige. The camera? Yeah. That's kind of kabuki ish. Yeah, what's going on? The qual oh, there's Paige. The quality control is out of, is out of control Why with this. Why is Chris set. not looking at Patch? Tell him to look at Patch. Because I'm trying to open this package. Hi, Patch. Hi, Patch. Okay, hi, Patch. Run in by Patch. Yeah, show me. Are you sure? Because it this could just blow it out like out of the water. This how is this happening? Oh yeah, it's like oh, it's like you said. Did you get two of them? Huh? I got two. Yeah, I got two of them. Oh, don't show that. That's 
for a secret birthday. I don't want Patrick to see. Oh shit, Patrick just texted me. Hang on, let's see. Here, I'll just show what Gooker Gate is. You can't. Oh yeah, survivors, they're on both. Shit. You turn the, you can turn the arm, and then it just pops off. It's like they, the joint is, it's like. I've had loose joints and all this shit, but like the feathers, I don't know what it is, but the the joint isn't popping in. It just it's just you twist the arm and it just falls off. So it's not that I'm fucking sitting here doing like gobbledygook. You're not being with malicious with the feather. I'm not like playing with them and jacking off or anything, but you can't fucking pose this. Like, what am I supposed to do with this shit? This is. These those Power Town figures, the hands pop off really easily, but this is Mattel, and you'd think there'd be like, and that was their first time making fucking figures. These these fuckers, I don't know what they're trying to pull on me. But this shit should be fixed because I've had that fucking cane with the paint on the arm, and I had to switch it out. I mean, it's a it's a fun figure, but it's it's like what the fuck? You can't pop. like why is the joint so loose and falling out? The other arm. Wants to fall out. The head is very loose. I don't know, man. Really? Yeah, everything's loose on mine. I don't. Know. It's kind of weird. The legs aren't loose, but everything. But now should I should I open mine up now? I don't know. I wouldn't do it. That's why my uh, my buddy Caden that collects. He was like, that's why I don't open them because you like. He just keeps everything in the box, and I was like, well. Well, they're made to. They're, they're either made, to be, made to display like, or they're being made to play with. What if a little kid who should be playing with this and not me? Yeah, what if Robert no. got, got a hold of the gooker? He just wouldn't have an arm. It would just be like this. It was just like, this is my gooker now. He has one fucking arm. And he can't, you know what he can't do? He can't do the do si do with Mean Gene because his fucking arm fell off. Hey, put that back up and send him a fucking picture. Mattel. Hey, Mattel. Get fuck your fucking it? shit I'm together, gonna, Mattel. You can't. You gotta do a left do si do, but you can't do the right one. Mattel, <laughs> we paid good goddamn money. Amazon, we paid good fucking money for these. Not fucking day one. We were the first ones that probably ordered. I think we might have been. Get I don't your know. shit together. It's cool, but I gotta just leave them like that and not touch the fucking arm. Makes you wonder how the Undertaker is. I look like a damn fool. What if somebody comes over and is like, I want to see your gooker, and he touches it, and the fucking arm falls off. I'm going to look like a goddamn fool in my toy room. We are not in any position to be made looking at fools, Mattel. Not fucking around. I mean, you produce a figure of epic proportions like the gobbly gooker, and then your fucking arm comes off? That's sack fucking religious. I know I'm yelling, and I know I'm not supposed to say the F word, but... That's just unacceptable. It's the first and probably only one we're ever gonna see, and they, it's like the arm just falls off. You guys need to answer to your 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 fuck ups, you know. Hey Mattel, I want a refund too. Cause like what? Now I'm now I'm like okay, I got this Muhammad Ali up there. What if I open it up one day? Is that shit gonna fall apart? Like what? Where does it end? I mean, is the Undertaker's head gonna come off? If I'm gonna like, unbox everything and I'm gonna test it, like this doesn't happen with the fucking elites, and this is this is an ultimate, right? That's double the price. I don't and, no, I don't think it is an ultimate. It says it's an ultimate, but it doesn't have the blood, butterfly joint. So what fucking makes it ultimate? Is is this like a first gen ultimate? Are they just using? Old, oh, old is, that, is that an older figure? Is that an older figure that, that, that was developed like, many fuck, years ago? It's like they dressed. They were making a a, a uh, dude. Is that like a red rooster? It's it's probably a, a Guerrero figure, and then they were just like, what was it, Hector Guerrero? And then they're like, now nah, we're not making Hector Guerrero, and they just saved the mold. And it's like a prototype, the way it falls off, you know. Like the power towns, the arms didn't fall off. The hands did because you could swap the hands. But uh, hey, did did you watch Peterson or the Major Brothers? Did they say anything about this? I need to check it out because I think they, I think Peterson you put that in the, his, and his maybe his didn't have that problem, but mine you should sure put does. that in. You should show Peterson that. 
Yeah. Maybe he should be on our you he he could come on our YouTube channel. On your YouTube channel. I'm sorry. I don't okay. have one yet. Needs to be uh, I'm just a guest on your YouTube channel. Yeah. Guest. I'm a guest star. <laughs> yeah, and the paint's the paint's not perfect either. There's some weird little things in the Dude, like, they probably made that figure right in the beginning of like twenty twenty. And then COVID got it on the back burner. So yeah, they probably did. That was probably a 2020 figure because that would have been the 30th anniversary of the Cooker and the Undertaker. Maybe. And now they, rever- they released it on 2023? Dude, that's a COVID figure. I'm confused on what's going on. Anybody out there, here's some more of Chris Adams' advice. Don't buy a car from 2020 to present because you're going to yeah. have a COVID. You're going to have a COVID car. Ooh. Imagine the people working on those cars. Yeah. They they were slacking off. The scabs, people that oh, they just they just didn't show up to work the day then they were gonna make the breaks, you know? Mm-hmm. Or they didn't do the they had COVID when they were gonna do the fuel pump or the solenoids or can't turn on the AC, you'll get there's COVID. There's no accountability. But they still got paid their rate. Sons of bitches. Fucking bullshit. Dude, did we go on an epic rant? Yeah, I don't know. That it, just got riled up. We're supposed. I was trying to do a short episode. It's like this, this is, is like yeah, but we covered some good stuff. shit, man. We went on a rant about having to draft in fantasy one through four, taking Jalen Hurts before his ADP, fucking gobbly Gooker falling apart. Unbelievable. Patrick they were, they, has to they take a in at nine o'clock for service. I don't like it. What do we? Th- Next thing you know, the goddamn Dallas Cowboys are probably goddamn win the Super Bowl now. I just threw my pen. Oh, come on. Don't start that bullshit. There's no way that's going to happen. Hell's going to freeze over. Yeah, yeah, I might as well just take my damn Eagles hat off. Damn Dallas Cowboys. Do it. Fuck those guys. That's right. That's how we should end this episode. Yeah, fuck, fuck the Cowboys. That should be like the, the the like the like the battle cry for our thing. Fuck the cowboys, and then in your videos, fuck you, Robbie. Yeah, fuck you, Robbie. Don't forget that. JP, good luck. <laughs> good luck, man. I think I see he came over the other day. And we hung out. Oh, yeah. I think he got a little growth spurt. He's like he's like eighth of an inch taller. I measured him out there in the kitchen in the little slabs. He's like, JP, 2023. He's like, yo, Adrian, he's like an eighth of an inch taller. Oh, really? I'll have to show you the marks. <laughs> you know, it's still growing. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with me? <laughs> so I don't crazy. know. Can't talk that. No. You good? Yeah, I gotta go to sleep. All right, man. Stay in touch. Alright. I'll give you I'll shoot you text some uh, All right. or text me text me Friday for the figure hunt. Okay. I always look forward to that. I always look forward to that pig that text yeah. message. Uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking fucking works on fire and then it's dead. Figure hunt's beginning. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you get up early enough. Phil Phil will be coming so Alright, bro. Alright. Bye Pat. Hit them high and watch our eagles fly.